Hi Paige, we had several big races in our area and with that a lot of money spent with them as well. Take here in Fayetteville, for example, in the State House District 84 race that was won by Denise Garner over incumbent Charlie Collins. In that race alone, more than $250,000 was spent. I spoke with a professor at the U of A today who tells us that maybe we need to be looking at not just how much money is being spent, but how many donors it takes to get there. There is a real question whether that basically money does buy elections or money just ends up following other indicators. Those indicators, things like grassroots support in a district. There's a lot of reason to believe that the number of donors that you have is actually a better indicator of how lucky you are to be successful than just the sure volume of money that's coming in. And Dr. Andrew Dowdle says that's because the more people you have supporting a campaign financially can be a good indicator of how popular a candidate is. And you can see this in terms of self-finance candidates and self-finance candidates rarely end up doing better than candidates who just don't have any money to start with. He says while campaign spending can sometimes be seen in a negative light, it does have a positive side. A lot of the political science literature has shown that if you have more spending, you're more likely to have higher rates among participation among voters, and that voters are actually more informed about the two candidates, not only the candidate who's spending money, but also uh, the person who's running against them. If you're interested in finding out more money about or more information about how much money was spent on your local state races, that information is available through the Secretary of State's website. You can find a link to that specific page on our website at 4029tv.com. Live in Fayetteville, Katie Davidson, 4029 News.